Hey, welcome back guys, it's Crafty Fox, and today we're gonna to be building the Amtrak Alstom Avila Liberty, and this is a high-speed passenger train, and this is actually replacing the Acela Express on the Northeast Corridor. So here's a look at that, and it's being tested right now, and it's expected to start running in service next year in 2021, and here we have an 11 car train set, so it is pretty long. Uh, in the middle there is a cafe car so that's going to be different from the other cars and also in the front there is going to be this first class car with the red door um, but yeah that's pretty much it for the train set and this is actually a commission by Trainmaster3985 so thanks to him for making this video possible because I probably wouldn't have like started building this until uh, 2021 because that's when it's actually in service um, but I guess we're doing it a little early so let's get started on the build so I'm gonna be building one half of it since most part of it is symmetrical so we're gonna go in the front take out white concrete place that two blocks above their tracks like this I'm gonna make it two blocks wide like that and you know what we're gonna make an L shape like that go diagonally add another white concrete then we're gonna go diagonally up add white concrete and the section is gonna be six blocks long so one two three four five six add white concrete underneath and then two more behind it now the inner portion of this would add in white concrete where this hole is so let's add that all the way across like that and then we're going to go in the front uh this front middle block we're going to go right behind it and add a gray concrete block i'm going to make it 24 long so one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. All right, once we've done that, uh, what we're going to do, take out a quartz block. And then we're going to add a 2 by 3 on top here. Like that, and add one down below here. And another 2 in the front of this. All right, then we're gonna take out uh, gray concrete. Let's move down here. Right where this hole is, we're gonna add in the wheel, gray concrete, uh, another brick stairs right behind it. And then we're gonna add another brick slabs, two blocks long. And then another brick stairs upside down facing the front. And another gray concrete. Then we're gonna add hoppers to the sides of the wheels, like so. And then we'll take smooth stone slab, add that right behind that first hopper. Then another brick slabs, um, two blocks here. And there is going to be a spruce fence gate right there in that nook. Then we're going to add daylight detectors right above the fence gate, and we're going to make it blue. And uh, we'll have to close that up, add it also right above the first hopper, and nether brick slabs in between. All right, then we're going to take out birch button add it right here uh, acacia button add that right there I believe and then there will be these glass blocks or glass uh, paint excuse me and that's gonna be light gray so just add a pair like that two blocks tall skip a block another two and then we'll add in stone buttons just two blocks here like so now we'd go uh, back over here take out court stairs going to add three blocks here so one two and three then we're going to take out lapis lazuli <laughs> add it right behind the stairs and make it two by three and then on the top section we're going to make it um, quartz uh, slabs all the way across so let me grab that so row three like that and add quartz blocks three on top as well and then a quartz slab here Absolutely right behind it. And then we need an upside down dark prism marine stairs right underneath that slab. It's going to face towards the front. Absolutely right behind it. And then dark prism marine slab right above uh, the lapis and quartz block right behind it. Then we're going to take quartz and uh, add three on the bottom. Actually, four on the bottom. So one, two, three, four. Then we're going to add uh, two rows of quartz all the way to the end of the car. Then right underneath we're going to add in three lapis blocks. 
and then it looks to be a blue carpet so let's add that um, quartz block right there and then we'll add in the back wheel so take out our gray concrete again skip a block away from the back add a wheel here upside down another uh, brick stairs facing the front and then two nether brick slabs, then nether brick stairs facing the back upside down, uh, gray concrete, and then we'll add in hoppers the sides of the wheels. All right, and then we'll add a smooth stone uh, slab right after this um, hopper, and then two nether brick slabs, and then we'll need uh, that spruce fence gate. And right above, we need to add in, uh, let me see if I have it, the blue <laughs> concrete powder right there. Place that inside like so. All right, next, we're going to add in dark prism rain uh, stairs right in on top of the back part. And we're going to add in two dark prism rain slabs after it. Then there's going to be uh, four lapizuli, so one, two, three, four. Add dark prism rain uh, slabs right above it. Then we're gonna add in la dark prism marine slabs right here, and it's gonna go all the way to this front bump bonton. I cannot speak right now. All right. Once we do that, we're gonna add a uh, blue uh, wool right behind uh, where the slabs are with the dark prism rain, like so. And we're also going to make it two blocks tall. It's like a giant vent. We're also going to do the same thing in the back. Make a two by three blue wool here. And then this section here, we need to add um, lapizuli. And then on the other side, we're going to add a lapizuli here. And dark prismarine stairs. The space in between, we're going to add a birch fence gate. And they're going to open up towards the middle. And then we're going to go right over here, just um, skip this blue wool block there and add a stone button. Then next we're going to go on the inside part where the stone button is, go one block down, add a gray concrete, and we're going to go all the way to the back, like so. On the very top, we're going to add a birch fence, and that's going to be block here. And also take out gray concrete, we need to fill in that little hole. So back over here, we're going to make this acacia fence two blocks long and add acacia trapdoor on top of the back one. Right behind it, we're going to add acacia fence gate, two of them diagonally up. So I'm going to place it like so, and then it goes diagonally back the other direction. So take out uh, acacia slab, add it right there. And then there will be uh, three acacia fence gates. They're all going to be lined up. And then this one opens up towards the back, and these two open up towards the front. And then we're going to add acacia trap door in front of each of them. Next, we're going to add birch fence gates on the sides of it, and we're going to open it up towards the middle. And actually, I forgot, we're just building one half of it at a time, so just I will have to delete that. Alright, so once we do that, uh, we're going to go to the back and add a smooth stone slab here. And then let's go over here. There's going to be two smooth stone slabs like that. And then an iron trap door right there. Next, there's going to be lapizuli, uh, two blocks. Actually, it's actually longer than that. So let's go all the way to the end of the blue wool. All right, so now we can take out uh, light gray carpet. Skip two blocks here and add a two by two. And then we're gonna add one in the middle and then gray carpet on the very side of it, in that corner. And we're gonna skip a block and add a stone button right there. Okay, now we're gonna take a lapizuli. Uh, we're gonna add in two blocks here, add another one dangling down. Then we're gonna take out uh, dark prism marine stairs and we're gonna have that facing outwards, uh, two blocks dangling down like that, and another one here facing towards the front. Then in the front we need to add a uh, gray concrete here, and dark prismarine slab we're going to add two blocks like that. And then in the front down over here we're going to add a uh, black uh, stained glass block here. 
and a polished diorite stairs uh, facing towards it. And right behind it, we're going to add in uh, two black carpets or two black concretes. Then next on the inside of this, we're going to add two gray glass blocks here. Then two black stained glass panes in front of that. Then we're going to take black concrete, uh, add one here, and then another two like that. Add another one in the front in the middle, like so. Then we're going to add a lever in the middle. That's going to be our windshield wiper. It's going to face that direction. And we're going to add uh, another brick stairs to the side of this. Another brick slab in front of that. And then smooth stone slab right here, diagonally like that, two of them. We have a lapazuli block right behind on the side. Now down over here, we're going to add polished deer right stairs, like so. Uh, two white concretes diagonally, like so. Another smooth um, stone slab down there. And in the front, there's going to be two white glass panes like that. The side here, there's going to be a deer right wall. And this corner here, we're going to add another brick slab. Then we're going to add a dark oak bun. Add that to the very middle where that white concrete is. Next, we're going to go on the roof and add a light gray carpet here. Blue carpet in front of that. Next, we're going to move down here. Add another brick slab in front of the hopper. Go diagonally and add in two diagonal smooth stone slabs like that with an iron trap door inside that nook, like so. Next, we're going to go underneath on the inside part where we have the wheels and we're going to connect that using the axles of like nether brick slabs like that. If you want to, you could fill all of this in, but I'm just going to do the, like, the axles since, I don't know, I feel like that's the only part that matters, but you can't really see it underneath anyways. Anyways, back over here, we're going to add a red nether brick slab here on the very side. And acacia slabs all the way across to the front. And then we're going to add acacia slab right there in the back portion. Then on top here, we need to add in uh, this birch fence gate like that. And then nether brick uh, slabs. Uh, let's make it two blocks long like that. The side is going to be nether brick walls, four blocks tall. So one, two, three, and four. Right down in the middle, we're going to add another brick block there and another brick slab to the side of that. And then we're going to fill in all this uh, space right here. Actually, we need to have this part. Put a quartz block inside there and then fill in the rest of the holes uh, with like this gray concrete all the way across so that is not exposed on the bottom and then we're going to go to the very edge of it uh, let's add in two more gray concretes here and it is optional if you want to add in like an actual door here I just left it alone like that and then we're going to go to the side and add two dark prismarine slabs here uh, nether brick slabs all the way across to the back like so so I actually forgot to do this in my video, but we're going to add three of these nether brick slabs right there in that nook. All right, then we're going to add a dark oak sign underneath this bun here. And that's pretty much it for this half. Now we're going to flip it off to the other side. So once we have both sides, we're going to go to this side and we need to change this because uh, the logo has to be flipped over. So delete this to over here. You know what? Just delete everything, man. All right, and then fill that in quartz and we're going to start from scratch here. Alright so once we have a blank slate we're going to go over here and skip these two quartz blocks after it. Add lapsuli with a dark prismarine slab right above it and dark prismarine uh, stairs right below it like so upside down and delete this block here and add in a quartz slab like that and behind it we're going to add in lapsuli block behind the quartz, quartz block behind the lapis, I mean the dark prismarine, and uh, dig out a 2x3 here. Inside part's going to be um, pretty much lapis lazuli. And then we'll add in, and then we'll add in three quartz stairs facing towards the front, and three quartz slabs right above it like so. Alright, so I'm editing the video and I realized I forgot this detail, so we're going to go inside uh, the cockpit area, open this up, 
And behind the glass, we're going to add another brick stairs, upside down, facing that direction. A dark oak trap door. And then another brick stairs, upside down, facing the other direction. Place these uh, dark prismarine stairs back. And uh, the cockpit should look like this now. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the power car. Now I'm going to show you how to build it with the pantograph down. So the folded up pantograph, we're going to delete this. All of it. <clears throat> like that. Delete that too. I'll actually like delete these two fence gates. And I'm going to add in acacia trap door to the side of this fence. All right. And then we'll add in red carpet right above it, three blocks wide. Right behind it, we're going to add in acacia fence gate like that. And that is pretty much it for the folded up version of it. So now we're going to be building the coach. There is two sizes to this. Uh, so one is shorter like this with two Jacobs bogey on either side. While this one right here at the very end, uh, right next to the power car, it only has one Jacobs bogey. This one here is normal. This is actually the one with the red door. The one on the other side is going to be just a plain white door, but it's sort of like the same thing. So to get started on this one, uh, we're going to take out gray concrete, go down here, add one right here in the middle, right behind that, another brick. And we are going to make this uh, 27 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. All right, so once we're done with that, then we'll take gray concrete, add another one to the side of this, and lapsuzuli to the side of that. And then we're to go um, uh, three blocks up, delete these two in the middle, add lapsuzuli again there, dark prismarine slab here, then two um, lapsuzuli right there on the very roof of it. Now what we're gonna do, what we're pretty much gonna do, we're gonna extend all like these parts in so that they match over here. So once it's all extended, it should look like this. And now we'd go to the front and we take a quartz block, make a two by two here. Then we're gonna take quartz slab, add two down here and two up there. Uh, two quartz blocks here and then uh, upside down and right side up quartz stairs then quartz block I mean quartz slabs right there and then quartz stairs facing the front now this is one window and you'll see like the windows are pretty much like two blocks wide and uh, we'll have to go to the other side now and add um, a quartz block here and then underneath there's going to be this uh, blue concrete powder because there is sort of like this gradient or I don't know effect and uh, we're also going to delete these two lapsuzuli down here replace it with red concrete right above it we're going to add acacia stairs I'm going to make a square shape like that that's going to be the door and then we're going to take out quartz again add two diagonally and then two blue uh, concrete powder diagonally then a two by two of a quartz block like that. Now we want to make the rest of the windows so they make sure they're all like two blocks long. So go uh, take out quartz slab, two blocks long here, two blocks long here, and then the stairs uh, slab, and then stairs facing the other direction. Then this two slabs, the stairs, the slab. This Stairs facing the other direction and then the slabs again so that we have all these uh, <laughs> windows all right so next we're to go right on the roof and there is a little bit of roof detail uh, what we're going to do would we'll take uh, two stone buttons add that to the side right here just skip one away from the edge then we're going to add a kitchen button inside it's going to be facing like I think horizontally and a birch button right behind it all right, so that, I think that's supposed to be like an emergency exit. Then we're going to go uh, right above the second window from the back. Go to the middle of that. Delete this block in the middle, and we're going to add. And then in the middle, we're going to add in a dropper, and it's going to face towards uh, the ceiling or the sky, I guess. Then we're going to skip a block, and add stone button to the outer edge, and skip a block, 
another one and we want to have like four of them like so next we're to go down here add two stone buttons here redstone torch uh, right above the door in the back and we're going to add in a dark oak button right on the door and here acacia button with a birch button right next to it and we're also going to add another birch button right here and it's going to say Amtrak then we're going to go down below here add in two acacia uh, slaps like that I'm going to add in the wheel so take out um, gray concrete and nether brick stairs upside down facing the back and then two nether brick slabs nether brick stairs upside down facing the front and then gray concrete then we're going to add in hoppers to the sides of the wheels and then uh, we'll need to add in upside down nether brick stairs facing towards the hoppers and right side up, nether brick stairs facing outwards uh, in between. That's going to be our bogey design. We're going to move up over here, and this is going to be our Jacob's bogey. Same design, but it's a little offset. And that is on purpose. It's not supposed to be centered in the real one, so we're actually being realistic by doing this. So let's add in gray concrete here. And then an upside down uh, nether brick stairs right there, and then two nether brick slabs and nether brick stairs facing upside down towards the front gray concrete hoppers the sides of the wheels and in between we're going to add nether brick stairs facing towards the hops hopper upside down and then right side up inside the inside part i guess next we're going to add acacia slabs all the way across the outer edge now this is supposed to be red but acacia is the closest to doing it all right, so once we're done with that, we're going to take out our uh, black concrete. And we're going to go on the inside part of this and pretty much cover up all of these windows. Once we filled all the windows, it should look like this. They're all blacked out, including the door one. All right, so uh, what we're going to do now, go back over here. Add this little connection using birch uh, fence gate. Uh, two nether brick slabs underneath, like so. And then on the side here, we're going to add four blocks tall, another brick walls, the inside part, uh, another brick block here, another brick slab right next to it, like that. And then gray concrete, um, just make, um, I guess like an L shape that's upside down and backwards like that, just with a hole of space for the doorway. And um, yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build uh, the actual coach right behind uh, the power cart. Now the same thing goes for the back one, just in reverse, and also um, what we're gonna do for that one, this door is actually supposed to be white, and that's, I think that's basically it for that one. But now we're gonna be building um, this standard coach. So for the standard coach, we're gonna take out gray concrete, add two blocks here, and then we're gonna add lapazuli to the side and then we're going to go three blocks up add lapazuli delete these two blocks and add dark prismarine slab above and then two lapazulis right there in the middle now we're going to extend this all these parts so that it's going to be 23 blocks long all right so once we have that it should look like this now go to the end here add blue concrete powder here uh, quartz block on top and then a 2x2 two two of quartz stairs in a, like a box shape. Now underneath we're going to delete these two blocks and we're going to add in uh, this white concrete like that and that's going to be our door. Then we're going to add in quartz diagonally up like that. Con blue concrete powder in the rest of the holes like that and then a 2x2 two two of quartz like so. Add two quartz slabs like this, both top and the bottom again, and we're going to add in uh, the windows here, which are going to be five blocks long. So, or not five blocks, five windows in total. So this is one window, then we're going to make another window here, which is our second window, and then a third window here, we're using slabs. And then the fourth window here. And the last window, I guess, is going to be slabs, just like that. The rest, we're going to fill that in with quartz. 
All right, so on the inside part of this, we're going to add in uh, black concrete inside part of this. And we're going to cover up all the windows. So once we have the windows all blacked out, we're going to go on top and add in two stone buttons here. Just skip one away from the edge. And inside there is a cage button and the birch button. Then we're to go to our second window right here. Go to the middle of that right over here. Delete this block and add in uh, this dispenser. It's going to face towards the ceiling or this guy again. And down over here, we're going to add a redstone torch there. And down below where the door is, a dark oak button here. And then a acacia button here. Birch button. Dally up. Two stone buttons like that. Now we're going to add in the Jacob's bogey once again. So then we're going to go over here, line up with this button, and add a gray concrete there. Upside down, nether brick stairs. The two nether brick slabs and nether brick stairs facing the other direction, upside down. Gray concrete. Hopper sides of the wheels, uh, nether brick stairs facing towards the hopper. And nether brick stairs facing outwards on the sides. Next, we're to work over here in the middle. Another brick block here, another brick slab. And the side is going to be another brick wall, four blocks all again. Uh, the roof section, two another brick slabs here. Then gray concrete upside down, L shape like that. Then we're going to go down here and add another brick slabs on the inside of this uh, bogey as well as the bogey. Uh, over here just fill in the inside of that and this also like this first car just fill in that as well all right cool once we do that go um, back over here uh, on the underside we're going to add in acacia slabs all the way across like so and it is optional if you want to do uh, like filling in all the inside of this you can if you want to because that's really what I did for the bottom of this and that's what it is like in real life but just to save us time I'm not going to do it right now but of course you can do it as well uh, then there's also this uh, birch button in this corner and right over here there is a birch fence gate right there in the gangway so here's what it looks like with both sides I just flipped it off same exact thing on the other side now what we're going to do over here we're going to take this coach the standard one and we're going to add three more standards right behind it. So once you added the three additional coaches to this, we're going to make the cafe car. Now the cafe car is one of the cars that's not the same thing on both sides. And uh, just we wear that, so we're going to build this one differently. So it's going to be the same length as this one actually. So take out uh, gray concrete, go right here in the middle, add two blocks like that. Side of that, we're going to add lapsuli. And then we'd go three blocks above, add lapazuli, delete these two middle blocks, and add dark prismarine slab on top. And then two uh, lapazuli right there in the middle. Now we're gonna make this segment again, it's gonna be 23 blocks long. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go to the end here, add in the Jacob's bogey. So go down here and we'll go to the third lapazuli, add a gray concrete here. Upside down, nether brick stairs, and then two nether brick slabs, nether brick stairs upside down, facing the front, gray concrete. And you'll always know, like, these things are always aligning with the door um, handle, I guess. Just a little tip, and we're going to add in hopper sides of the wheels. Upside down, nether brick stairs, facing towards the hoppers, and nether brick stairs, facing outwards like that. All right, and again for uh, this gangway here, same exact design. So take out another brick block, another brick slab here, and then four blocks tall, another brick wall, then two another uh, brick uh, slabs like that, and a birch fence gate on top like that. The inside part we're gonna make an L shape, upside down L shape of gray concrete. All right, so for um, let's work on this side. So we're gonna take out. A two by two of quartz. Then two quartz slabs on top of the bottom. A quartz block in the middle. Then two quartz slabs on top of the bottom. Go to the other side, make a two by two. 
the two quartz slabs, top and the bottom. And I'm going to make a 2 by 4 of quartz. I'm going to add a 2 by 2 lapzuli. And right down here, we're going to add a birch button there, scoop block, birch button, and then acacia button right next to that birch button. Then we're going to fill in the rest in with quartz all the way across. Then we're going to add quartz all the way across. Take out stone button, add two over here next to the window, and two over here next to the other window. And then on this side, there's going to be a birch button in that corner that says Amtrak. All right, now below the space, we need to fill that in with acacia slabs all the way across the sides here. And again, if you want to, you could do like the whole entire thing. But it is a pretty long train if you're doing that. So now we're going to go on the other side. Take a lapzuli here. Uh, dark Prismarine slab, uh, lapzuli. Skip two blocks here, lapzuli on the bottom. Then we're going to add a gray concrete here. And then we're going to extend all these parts all the way across the end of the car. All right, so once we're done with that, we're going to go on the inside part of this, uh, right to where the gangway, make the doorway using gray concrete, like an end shape. Go to the other end of the car, complete that end shape on that side, and go to the outer edge, and we're going to add quartz block, 2x2. Two two. Same thing as well in the front, 2x2. Two two. Then we're going to add two quartz slabs to the top and the bottom. Then we're going to go on the other side, and add in two quartz slabs top of the bottom again, then a two by two lapzuli. Then quartz stairs upside down and right side up. Quartz slab here. Then quartz stairs facing the other direction. And we're gonna fill in all these spaces with like the same exact two block long windows that we were making earlier. It is pretty much the same design. You just go across until we reach the other side which may take us a while. All right, so once we're done with that, uh, let's add in uh, acacia slabs all the way across to right over here where the bogey is. And of course, you're gonna make the, the bogey again. Uh, I don't know if I have to show this, but I'm gonna just do it anyways, just so it's like nice and symmetrical. So I'll remake the bogey on this side. Uh, fill in the middle of it with uh, another brick slabs. Hopper side of the wheels, another brick stairs facing towards the hopper, another brick stairs facing outwards. Okay, so that is it. And don't forget to add in the, this part of the gangway. Just connect it all. Uh, like so. Now the inside, actually, never mind. Well, we're going to take out uh, birch button, acacia button, and stone button. Uh, go to the end here, add two stone buttons here, go to the other end, two stone buttons there. Then birch button in the top right hand corner, birch button here, and then acacia button here, birch button next to it. Alright, so now on the inside of this, we're going to fill that in like the blacked out windows using our black concrete again. Alright, so once we have all the blacked out windows, it should look like this. Then we're going to add some roof detail. So go to uh, the second window from past that door and we're gonna line up with this block here go in the middle and add in a dispenser facing towards the sky and then I'm going to take out a stone button add two of them diagonally facing that direction go to the front of the car add in two stone buttons on the sides the middle is going to be acacia button and then a birch button skip a block add a pair of stone buttons, skip a block, add another pair, skip a block, add another pair. And yeah, that is pretty much it for uh, the cafe car. Now what we're going to do for the other car is just flip off to the other direction. You see the doors go towards the middle. So there looks to be uh, two more regular coaches. And then there's going to be, again, that uh, first class car. But then this is, I think this is a business car. So the door is going to be white. And then the power car with um, it folded down if you want to. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it on how to build a Villa Liberty uh, from Amtrak in Minecraft. And thanks to Trainmaster3985 for making this video possible. Because, you know, I wouldn't have built a Villa Liberty this early when it hasn't even run in service. 
But anyways guys, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos such as this in the future. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.